Chainsaw Man is without a doubt the most popular anime to be airing this season. This is no small feat as it's currently competing with Spy Family, Mob Psycho, My Hero Academia, and Bleach's final arc. I decided to watch this anime because I saw a lot of hype for it and I'm glad I did. If you click this video, you are probably also enjoying this anime so much that you decided to watch a random dude online talk about it for a few minutes. I usually only make reviews about anime after its season ended, but I wanted to create a new series on my channel called First thoughts where I give you my first impressions of an anime after watching about a quarter to a third of the season. At the point I'm writing the script for this video, I've watched five episodes of Chainsaw Man and if you know how to do math, that's a little more than a third of the season. I procrastinated a little bit, I'm sorry, but better late than never, right? Even though by the time I release this video, Chainsaw Man might already be more than halfway done. But let me stop procrastinating and let's talk about the characters, starting with the main one. Denji. I don't think I ever really seen a character like him before. His situation and his environment was very serious, yet his attitude and demeanor came off as very flippant, like he wasn't taking anything seriously. To me, this is what made him instantly likable. He's got the worst life and instead of being angry and cursing the world, he acts very nonchalant about everything. It was like his spirit was broken. He let go of any hopes and dreams of a better life and decided at the very least to try to enjoy his life and make the best of a bad situation. Before this anime started airing, one of my friends told me that Denji's main motivation was boobs, and that left a pretty bad first impression on me. Without any of the context, it just seemed very childish and not like something I would actually enjoy. But now that I'm familiar with Denji's background, that goal makes way more sense, and I feel like that goal aids the story and Denji's character in a good way. He just wants to live the good life and do things that he's never had the ability to do. Things that would only happen in his wildest dreams. It made a lot of sense that he couldn't dream bigger than wanting to touch a boob because his imagination had been limited for so long. Denji is a really easy protagonist for me to understand and root for which makes the whole series better as a result. Let's talk about Makima because she was a very interesting character to say the least. I had very uneasy feelings about her right off the bat because she just didn't seem like a real person. A lot of her emotions come off as fake and her actions come off as manipulative. I feel like there's more to her character that I'm not seeing yet, but I am definitely very cautious of her. It's possible that all of these red flags are really just a red herring and maybe there's a true manipulator behind the scenes. It's become quite clear to me that Aki is supposed to be the cool, reserved character for this anime. He wants vengeance for the death of his family and in order to get it he has to become very strong. From what I've seen of his power I believe he is definitely very impressive. He has a contract with the fox devil and he probably has other tricks up his sleeve as well. Despite how cool and powerful he is he still did lose to Denji who only aimed for his nuts which I thought was hilarious. I love how the comedy of this series can make even the most serious of characters look dumb and silly. We did get to see a bit of Aki's backstory with his little brother and how said brother and the rest of his family were swiftly murdered by the gun devil. It was very tragic because by the time he realized what had happened, there was nothing he could do about it. This glimpse into his past allowed me to better understand his motivation for hunting devils. Now I just wonder if he will get his revenge or if Denji will steal the kill from him. It's tough to say and I don't even know if I will find out the answer in this season. The last character I wanted to talk about was Power, the Blood Devil. She brings a super chaotic element to this anime and I love her for it. She's just very funny to me. She doesn't completely understand human norms so she will act in the craziest ways and bring some lightheartedness into the series. Despite seeing a lot of her, there isn't much I know about her. I know that the only thing she really seems to care about in this world is her cat Meowy. She's proven that she'll do anything for that cat, even die. I'm excited to see what else I may learn about her in the future. The animation for this show has been pretty good so far. I was a little disturbed by the 3D CGI chainsaw animation in the first episode. The CGI wasn't as bad as some other anime I've seen, but it just wasn't what I was expecting from this show that everyone was hyping up. We've seen some really clean animation since that episode and some of the following episodes, and especially in episode 4 when Denji fought against the Leech Devil. So in total, I have some minor gripes with the CGI and the animation for the most part is pretty good. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the animation will look in the future. This story contains so much more comedy than I was expecting. I think they do it really well especially when it comes to a lot of the perverted moments like Denji realizing his dream to fondle some boobs. It really blended well with a lot of the serious tones of the show and the universe these characters inhabit. One thing I will say is that I haven't really seen what Denji's core goal is. From my understanding his dreams are evolving and I love that for him but I'm also curious as to what his final goal will be. He first just wanted to live a normal life. He somewhat accomplished that when he decided to work under Makima. Then he wanted to touch a pair of boobs and he accomplished that with power. Now it seems like he wants to understand what sex feels like with someone who he is emotionally connected with. And I don't know if he is going to accomplish that this season or if this is the final goal yet. 
The real reason why this is important to me is because with a final goal, I can paint a picture of how this story will end. For example, I knew that Naruto would end with Naruto becoming Hokage, and I know that One Piece will end with Luffy obtaining the One Piece, or at the very least, that will be the start of the last arc. I'm not saying that Chainsaw Man has to make its protagonist have an end goal in order for the story to be good. There are plenty of anime that do not do this like Dragon Ball and Bleach, but having a final goal definitely would help me understand where the series is trying to go. Let's move on to the music because I've been enjoying it so far. I'm not really talking about the OSTs, although those have definitely been fire. I'm talking about the opening and the endings. I saw multiple posts on Twitter about how many of the scenes in the opening were inspired by scenes from iconic movies. This was a very creative choice and I've never seen anything like this in an anime opening before. And from my perspective, there weren't really any noticeable spoilers in this opening, which allowed me to enjoy the story so much more. They were also getting really creative with the endings because the ending changed with every new episode. That actually provided a really good incentive to watch the ending credits multiple times as I usually just skip through it after watching it once. They've all been bangers so far and one day I'll definitely make a video ranking all of these endings. In conclusion, I guess you could say I've really been enjoying this anime so far. I have very few complaints about it at the moment and I cannot wait to see how this story will grow and evolve in the future. This show is the one I look forward to watching the most this season right behind Bleach, which is no small feat. Be sure to look out for my full review of this season once all 12 episodes have been released.